Hallelujah. Lift your hands and just go ahead and thank him for this week. Thank him for his mercy, for his care, for his love. Appreciate him because he has been together with you and walked with you throughout the entire week. He has not left you nor forsaken you. No matter what seasons you may be in, he has been a just God. The Lord has strengthened you. The Lord has guided you. Just open your mouth and appreciate him. He has been a good God. It's a week in which we set apart to seek him in fasting and prayer. So appreciate him that he has provided grace to wait upon his name. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves the adoration. He's been a good God. Somebody open your mouth and appreciate him. As you're doing that, appreciate him for the nation of Kenya. That even though we've had a challenging week, the mercy of God has continually spoken. I want you to tell the Lord, thank you for my nation. Thank you that you have kept us. We would have been torn apart had it not been by your help. God, thank you for preserving us. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for fighting for us, oh God. We appreciate you for our nation. Come on, lift your hands and open your mouth. Give him thanks for another minute for the nation of Kenya. Give him thanks for the difficult time we have walked through and the help and the hand of God that has been available. Somebody open your mouth and appreciate him. Appreciate him. Only yesterday we were not able to be in town like we wanted to. The day before we were not able. This week has been quite traumatizing. But his mercy has kept us. Now I want you to open your mouth. Begin to pray for every person who has lost his loved one during this season. I want you to pray for people whose sons have died during this particular week. Whose daughters have been affected. Whose mothers have been affected. I want you to pray. Just pray over the nation. Pray that the bereaved ones will be comforted. Pray that they will be encouraged in the name of Jesus. They are families that are weeping. They are families that are in tears. They are husbands that are lost and wives that are broken. Left as widows. Open your mouth and pray for them please. Open your mouth and pray over the nation. Pray over such families. Take one more minute. Pray over them. Pray that the Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. I am hoping you are not weary in prayer. I am hoping you are not weary in prayer. The Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. The Lord will comfort. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you now to pray. Lord, let something good be born out of what we are going through as a nation. Pray that something great will be born out of these battles out of this season pray that this nation will be free of corruption free of tribalism free of leaders that are out of order the lord will help them to fear him that we will have leaders that possess the fear of god pray that the lord will help the nation to be more united pray that the nation will be healed completely that there will be economical restructurization economical uplifting economical healing of our nation Oh, I hope you're not tired praying for the nation of Kenya. Somebody open your mouth and lift your voices and pray. As you pray for Kenya, you are literally securing your own destiny. Open your mouth and lift up a prayer. Oh God, let something good come out of what we are facing. Let something great arise out of what we are undergoing. Let this be a transitional moment. That the revival you have been speaking concerning our nation will begin in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are believing you, my Father. A God, you will help a revival. I'm seeing a few people pray. I hope we are praying. Come on, lift your hands wherever you are. Pray is simply opening your mouth and mentioning to God the things you desire. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Open your mouth and begin to declare. We have been taking the first five minutes to commit our nation over this season. So open your mouth and begin to declare. Our Father, let's something great come out 
Let something great come out. 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 In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We commit our nation to you. We pray that God we will come out of this season corrupt free. We will come out of this season Jehovah God free of all manner of deception and lies. We will come out united. We will come out triballess. We will become one nation, one people. Lord, we are coming out with one voice, Jehovah God. We are coming out with the fear of God. Lead us that are under the influence of God. We are coming out, Almighty God, healed as a nation. Delivered, oh God. We are declaring the economy of our nation is healing, oh God. Doors are opening for Kenya. We are rising again. We are reviving again. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear somebody. We are reviving again. A fresh fire burns in this nation. A fire of the Holy Ghost. A fire of revival. A fire that stirs up the working of God. We are declaring that your kingdom come. Every prophetic word you have been uttering of our nation. Lord, we thank you that it is prevailing in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, we believe you. Come on, let my intercessors pray. Somebody open your mouth and pray. We are believing you that there are highways of uncommon progression granted to us as a nation, oh God. The nation begins to breathe. A reformation begins to happen, oh God. From the presidency to the cabinet, oh God, to the gubernatorial sectors, to the senators, and all across, we are commending our nation to you. We make decrees, oh God, that God businesses are opening up, oh God. Economies are rising. Wisdom is given to our president, to the leaders at large, oh God. They are operating in that which you ordain, that which you intended. We thank you that all negative influence, foreign influences, influences that may come from strange quarters that they are cut off, oh God. We commend even the bloggers, the social media influencers. We pray over them that God, they are coming under your government. Your wisdom guides them. Your wisdom guides them. We cut off from this nation. Wisdom that is ugly, that would divide our land and ruin what you are doing, oh God. We are praying that instead it will be your wisdom to God. Oh, we give you praise. Lift your hands and just go ahead and appreciate him. Appreciate him. Oh, we give you glory. Kwani wewe watosha Wewe furaha yetu Na wewe watosha Sema kwani wewe One more time, Kwani we 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 Turn to somebody on the right and on the left and tell them good afternoon. Tell them, neighbor, it's good to see you today. Amen. Thank you so much, Bishop, for having me. Together with Mommy, I really do appreciate uh, just entrusting your team just to permit me to come and be a blessing to the people of God. And I trust that we are learning something, are we? Are we receiving something? Amen. Today we are actually climaxing. Bishop has been able to announce about Sunday, the Holy Ghost Sunday, which we are believing God that we will open it up so that the supernatural can be able to take place. But I forgot to mention yesterday, as testimonies are opening up, please let us get to hear them. Is that okay? Because I have a feeling that there are already testimonies that are breaking forth in our midst. Uh, allow me to give an apology first of all. The apology I want to give is that I was supposed to have had the book uh, that bases on what I'm actually teaching on the laws of intercession. And I even mentioned this that I'm limited in even teaching much. By the way, I haven't even started the laws. Amen? I haven't. You can believe that. I haven't. I just mentioned them. I think 
uh, in passing uh, the day before yesterday and I haven't even yet started them. Uh, but there is this book which the Lord has permitted me to be able to do. There are two books I've actually, I'm in the process that they are coming out, but there's one. Uh, and because of what has been happening, there was a delay in it being uh, forwarded this way. In fact, I even had uh, told Bishop that my request was that I just simply unveil the book here. Uh, and he was to pray for it uh, and also declare its availability. But uh, I think it should be here tomorrow. So let's believe God by Sunday, the books will be available. Is that okay? So that we can be able to make use of it. Believe me, it's fully loaded and it will be able to help you. Now, we have been looking at the aspect of laws that govern intercession. And uh, we have been building on this, uh, hoping and praying that God will be able to help us to grow into the place of prayer. Because we have been doing seven days of prayer. Uh, which began, I think, on Monday and concludes on Friday. And I know most of us have taken this seriously. Uh, let me give you a story, first of all, that would be able to help you. Because some people, whenever there is always an announcement uh, that we are having prayer, people miss out. By the way, somebody said, if you ever want to know how famous your church is, you look at the Sunday service. Uh, if you want to know how powerful or influential you are as a pastor to your congregation midweek meetings, and then if you ever want to know how powerful Jesus is in the church, it's prayer meetings. Amen. Yeah, so thank God you are here. You, you are a very powerful person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor. You are a lover of Jesus. Tell them you are a serious lover of Jesus. Amen. So I'm not trying to say wala wajakuja ni suspects lakini sini vizuri tu kukubaliana. Amen. So there's a story. There was a, there was a church. The pastor announced a 21-day fast. And when he announced the church had a culture, they would go ahead and do so. So this guy just joined the church and he decided to be a part of it. In fact, there were two people. Uh, they give the story that on the seventh day, this fellow had been having pains on his chest. And he couldn't really be able to understand what happened to him. Uh, so one morning he woke up uh, on during the 21-day fasting. And he found himself coughing so much. And blood began to come out. In the process, what came out of his mouth were uh, these things we call teeth brace, call braces. You know the braces? They just came out. He had actually lost them, tried looking for them. And he didn't know that he slept with them. And in a way, he actually swallowed them without even knowing. And supernaturally, God was able to deliver him. Within the same meeting, uh, the same church... There was a man who had a growth and it was already organized that he should have gone. It was because the growth was a bit cancerous that he needed to have gone for surgery. But he told the doctor that he wanted first of all for it to be halted because they taught about the power of fasting. And if you look at Isaiah 58, uh, fasting covers various areas. Fasting uh, covers one of them being also your physical healing. Is that okay? Yeah, that's why doctors themselves would always prescribe that a person does fasting at least three times at least a month because it helps to cleanse your system. So this guy had engaged in fasting and told the doctor to first of all hold for the surgery. They say during the time of the fasting, one morning when he went to take a shower, he discovered blood was gushing out of the ear where there was this growth. When he went to check, the thing had exploded, so he was worried. Drove very fast to the doctor, sat down and asked the doctor, please check this out. This thing, it exploded, it had been having blood, though it has stopped. And the doctor asked him one question, who did the surgery? Because whoever did it, did a very good work. Alright, so there are many advantages in fasting. Many. So whatever you do, and even if probably you miss Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, try climax. Is that okay? And just ask God for mercy so that you could pick up. Corporate fasting has a lot of power. There is even easy grace. Did you ever know that fasting by yourself takes a lot of discipline? But when there's corporate fasting, there's a lot of grace. Are, are you hearing me? So please take advantage of this season and it will be able to help you. So we have been dealing with this and we want just to continue on the same. Uh, I want us to go quickly to the book of, uh, uh, let's see this, see how we can be able to build on this. Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter number 29. Uh, we will read it from verse number 10. We will go all the way uh, until verses number 14. Jeremiah 10, uh, 29, sorry, from verse number 10 all the way up until verse 14. It says, For thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God gives a guarantee of what will happen to you. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, and when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Verse 14, we could read this together. One, two, go. And...
Amen. Now, I've given this scripture because I wanted to proceed on the other reasons why intercession is very important. Remember, we mentioned three of them. We said, number one, for destiny fulfillment. Number two, we also proceeded, we said, because of generational continuity and preservation. And number three, we actually left it by speaking about the need of redeeming territories. Now, we want to proceed to the two others and then we will be able to do prayer at least for the last five minutes. Is that okay? personal prayer are we all okay with that and probably allow god to do what he may want to do now we have to understand that when we're dealing with the intercession it also has to do with creating spiritual highways okay so that is number four that the fourth purpose of what we call intercession is to create spiritual highways now why do we need spiritual highways very simple spiritual highways are created for the sake of divine fulfillment or let me change my statement of fulfillment of divine matters fulfillment of divine matters now you must understand that the will of god can be opposed the will of god can also be resisted one of the things that i've always discovered is that god can never force himself toward you human will can reject god demonic will can also oppose the intent of god so one thing that god does is that god gives us a wisdom to make intercession as a way to create a highway so that his interest is expressed on earth so when we look at the book of matthew 6 and verse 10 jesus would teach us to pray he would say when you pray if i would just go straight to verse 10 he would say thy kingdom come and thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven so the will of god doesn't naturally happen prayer creates a highway for that will of god to find expression i wish i had an amen everything about the life we live opposes god's design god's will and god's intention the only secret way in which the will of god or the agenda of god can find expression is when highways are created in isaiah chapter number 62 and verses 6 7 then we will go to verse number 10 isaiah 62 verse 6 verse 7 and then we go to verse 10 this particular scripture talks about watchmen who are in other translation are also called intercessors i have set watchmen upon thy walls O jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night ye that make mention of the lord keep no silence i and give him no rest until he established jerusalem until he makes jerusalem a praise in the earth have you seen that so they have been given a mandate to labor for certain things to be born on earth verse number 10 let's go to verse 10 look at what he says here in verses number 10 okay i'm waiting for you he says go through go through what talk to me go through go through what and then he says prepare what the way cast up cast up what the highway have you seen that so there are highways that we need to go ahead and set up then he explains gather out the stones and lift up a standard for the people highways are necessary for the purposes of god to find expression are you aware that the ministry of jesus became a success let me go back first of all to what i want to say jesus's preservation was secured by simeon and secured by anna you remember that I shared that the other day. But Jesus' ministry was given a highway because of John the Baptist. So we look at Mark chapter number 1. We will look at it from verse 1, verse 2, and 3. We swear we will actually get to understand Mark chapter number 1. Unless John the Baptist was there, the ministry of Jesus would have taken longer. But when highways are created, then it means everything God intends is expressed with ease. The Bible says in the beginning of the, the, beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, verse number two as it is written in the prophets behold i send my messenger before thy face which shall do what prepare thy way before thee okay verse number three look at what he says the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the lord make his path straight now i know somebody would go ahead and argue with me and tell me but john was a prophet I mean that was what made him a voice but i want you to understand there is no one called a prophet that is not an intercessor anytime you hear somebody who has been called into the office of a prophet one of the things that makes them or authorizes them to be a prophet is intercession are, are you following me here if you look at books like habakkuk chapter one nahum chapter one it will talk of the word the burden of the word of the lord came to me that word burden you must understand that people that are called prophets experience burdens now burdens are also given to intercessors so anytime you're talking about a prophet you are also talking of an intercessor oh come on give me feedback and shout a better amen so when john the baptist came he actually created a highway for jesus 
so for three and a half years jesus had it easy yes he too himself had to pray but you must understand one of the core reasons he had tremendous results was because i was an intercessor that went ahead of him give me a better amen right here so why do we intercede to create highways so that divine interest may find expression some of you here must understand like i said yesterday that you may be behind your prophetic calendar remember what i said i said we always have three calendars active on earth we have the calendar of man we have the calendar that is satanic but we also have god's calendar now god's calendar is his prophetic agenda about your life so god has in mind that by this time you should be here so why did we read the book of jeremiah chapter number 29 because in verse number 10 the bible tells us out of the words of this man that after 70 years the lord will visit you are you understanding me so he gave the prophecy concerning a timeline that should remain in place so to connect jeremiah 29 you must understand that if you continue it he tells them and you will seek me and you will find me so what happened later in daniel chapter 9 a man arose in verse number two the name was daniel the bible says i daniel understood by the books that the 70 years had been accomplished so daniel understood the power of praying about the interest of god they say that it was about 68 years but the 67 years let me correct my words according to bible historians by the time daniel discovered that the prophecy of jeremiah was supposed to be accomplished 67 so when daniel got to see that this is what god said in daniel chapter number nine from verse number three he says i daniel began to mourn i began to pray i began to fast daniel became an intercessor now they say that ezra chapter number one where the bible opens by speaking about the king cyrus who had a command from god to release the children of israel to go back to jerusalem that it happened on the 68th year god's plan was 70 an intercessor quickened the result so that is to say are you following me here that one ministry that people who are calling to intercessory ministry must have is prophetic sight when we will be talking about the laws of watchers probably on sunday i will talk about that that is the first law that empowers you as an intercessor i hope you are hearing me in the world of the spirit there are different ways you discern god or you discern the movement of the spirit please talk to me are you hearing me there are people who discern it they are called feelers god gives you the ability to feel things to sense things even your body can tap into the sensations I, I, am i in the right place there are people god has given you ability to see you are called seers your capacity to see things has been given so every time you have a lot of dreams a lot of visions i am i in the right church you see quite a lot you can even be seated here and god can open your eyes to see things that others cannot be able to see god can even give you open dreams an open dream or an open vision is when you fall into a trance the word trance there okay kalama zokaya tikaya sokaya you answer me in tongues anika sokia tonia messiah uh -huh, thank you <laughs> so the word trans there means a physical paralysis a paralyzation and that's my own english where you go through a point where your physical senses are paralyzed but your spiritual senses are aroused and then you have an outer body experience so you're seated you are looking at me but at the same time you're encountering a movie you see things in the spirit some weeks ago two sundays ago i was preaching in our church and we had done some heavy prayer there was a lady who used to come we used to do lunch i was also in church and she used to attend so this lady had vowed that the day god will give her a job she will never miss church and me i don't even know the lady till today it was one of my people that was telling me the story so the lady that sunday did not go to church she went to wash her clothes as she was washing she had a voice telling her you vowed that the day you will get a job you will never miss church who was speaking that it was my voice speaking to her all right you know god can use people's voices to speak to you so all of a sudden the lady quickly because the voice told her put back aside the clothes take a shower run to church she ran to church after running to church she said that she was seated in church and all she could hear was me preaching and she told this member of our church everything i preached in our church and the lady was confirming he said our pastor preached about vows our pastor preached about this everything i preach is what the lady was hearing and yet it was her pastor preaching but she was hearing me i don't know whether you're understanding me she had all the notes god can give you experiences please give me feedback 
So whenever we are actually looking at the people that are called into intercessory, one thing that God does, God gives them the ability to discern the prophetic. Because for Daniel, he interceded on the 67th year, it manifested on the 68th year. Isn't it possible that maybe we could hasten your results before the end of the year? We are now almost about to flip into the second half of the year. Probabilities are that when Bishop and Mama were led together with the leadership to organize for this fasting, it should be a conclusion of the first part of the year. And maybe the things God did not answer, that the second part of the year, God can quicken them by intercession. When you shout an amen, it comes closer to you. So let me give you a scripture to prove it about the power of even prayer and fasting. Look at Joel 2 and verse 23. Okay, so that your amens will not be affected by mandamano because I feel your amen is a bit mandomanomized. Are you understanding? All right, look at what he says. Let's read this one together. Are we ready? Let's go. One to go. Be. Yes, you children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain. What? Stop there. So the word moderately means kidogo kidogo. Are you understanding me? So it means, in other words, God gave you answers, but not exactly as you needed to have it. But let's conclude it. What does it say? And he will, he will cause to come down for you what? Rain. Uh -huh. The former and what? The latter rain. In what? So that means that God can decide to collect everything that was formerly to be given to you. And to collect everything that should come to the conclusion of the year. And in the month of July, God can finish with you. That by the time we are coming to a conclusion by leadership in this church, which has guided us, that we are coming on the seventh day of prayer, we are only coming to gather the reins. The form, there is a prince that hindered. So some of you here, there are things hanging in the atmosphere. There are answers hanging. I wish I'm talking to the right people right here. I said there are answers which are hanging in the atmosphere that are supposed to be dropping over your head. But there are forces hindering. There are forces limiting. There are princes even within this town that are saying you should not have what you're supposed to have. But because Daniel began the first day and the angel was released on the first day but resistance came. Then Daniel decided I will not hold on. I will labor. Now in the spiritual world we don't operate according to Christ. Chronos. There is no minutes, hours, seconds, or days. So for the angel to say 21 days, that angel, in other words, must have already left eternity. Okay, are you hearing me? And translated to the human world. So that the angel could now tell Daniel, it is now 21 days. That means that the answer was already in the realm of men. It had left the realm of God. Because in the realm of God, to God, a day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years to God is like one day. What that means is that God can do for you a thing in one day. And what he will do for you in a day is equal to what requires 1,000 years. Your amen is my, my undermanomized. So I want a louder amen. Let me hear a louder amen. Please listen to me. Intercession releases things. Intercession fights opposition. Paul says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 6 from verse number 11, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And then he explained, remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. How many people, every time before a job interview, something has to happen. They either disagree with their spouse and after disagreement, by the time they go for the interview, something interrupts the process. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? A couple that had been believing God to get children. And this couple that time were in church. By the time they were in church like this, a pastor preached and said there were angels delivering children. But as he concluded, he told them, the Lord is saying the miracles that will happen here require an atmosphere of praise. And everyone shouted amen and they clapped and they left the church. As they went into the car, this couple had a habit because, you know, sometimes when you've taken long before a miracle, it's easy to argue. You're easily offended, you're agitated. Even after church, you can slap somebody. Church has a lot of drama. You don't need to watch Hollywood movies. Are you understanding me? So they got into the vehicle, and as they got into the vehicle, they began to argue. As they were arguing, all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost hit the woman, first of all. And the woman remembered, Pastor said, we need to have an atmosphere of praise. Reminded the husband, the husband was in agreement, and they decided to play praise and worship. That is what calmed the situation. That night, they were intimate, and they just discovered a month later that the wife had conceived. Barrenness was broken because an atmosphere was already open. Please, I need a louder amen right here. I'm taking this somewhere. We need, therefore, to labor that there must be highways. 
we need to labor that there must be expression angels must have the liberty to flow in and out if in daniel chapter 10 an angel was defeated that means that angels can also be defeated because for every level there is a devil isn't that so so if i'm in level a i face devils of level a if i go to level b i face devils of level b so if i'm in the level of receiving ten thousand i fight the demons of ten thousand if i enter the sphere of a hundred thousand the demons i fight are for a hundred thousand so if there are more devils on each level that means on level a if they are devils then when i go to level b i also need more angels the higher the level the more helpers you require so the bible says when daniel persisted for 21 days another was released and today we are going to release extra angels all you need to shout aloud amen right here that should come to help you to accomplish now let me add scripture to prove my, my argument in genesis chapter 27 28 when the young man called jacob verse 11 is running away from his brother and going to the land that his parents have told him genesis 28 he lands in a place called lars or loose depending with how you want to pronounce it sleeps and has a dream in the dream he sees a ladder do you remember that scripture on the ladder there are angels number one that go up so angels are ready to go up number two angels that are coming down and on top of the ladder was a son of man come on you need to help me right here jacob wakes up and shouts he says indeed if you are with me i vow now why did he have that encounter jacob did not know that his own grandfather abraham years ago passed the same land and raised an altar right there that created an open heavens where there was a spiritual highway to do business with god it's just like this lunch hour this is a place where god abides the angels are ready to ascend with your prayers and they are angels right here ready to descend with your results are you following what i'm trying to say so it was easy for jacob to enjoy transaction with god but there are places we go the angels may be on earth and some are in heaven but there's a leader telling them you cannot go beyond so we need to create ladders highways on the behalf of the people of god that anything you will transact will no longer suffer delay i want you to lift your right hand and say in the name of jesus any demonic intrusion that is hindering my next level as i pray i declare it scatters now in the name of jesus i want you to say i command spiritual highways over my life over my destiny over my territory the will of god concerning my life my destiny my nation my generation shall prevail lift up your hands again your hand of authority say i pull down principalities powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness i scatter them in the name of jesus i commission my angels to multiply right now say oh god let angels increase to do business on my behalf angels of harvest come to me now angels of warfare fight on our behalf right now say in the spiritual world we release angels now we release michael now angels of war angels of war say in the mighty name of jesus there will be no more hindrance a highway is created if you believe it i want you to give god a clap and a shout right here all right now we are almost there before we go into prayer so we pray to create spiritual highways so that whatever is spiritual possibilities can be available kenya is a very strategic nation but believe me the demonic forces will not want it to go that way so whatever has been happening you might think is normal and it's okay for people to voice out their concerns but the bible says there's a wisdom that is earthly have you ever read that scripture are you, are you hearing me? James chapter 3. And he says such a wisdom has strife in it. Do you know it's okay to raise up concerns. People are angry about the economical state. But if offense is what drives our action, then our result will be wrong. And that is what has been sponsoring some things. That's why prayer sanctifies our actions. Please give me an amen. So in the same scripture, it says there is a wisdom that is from above. That is first of all 
pure then secondly peaceable so the interest of prayer is that while there's an agitation please follow me wisdom comes in because the purpose of agitation is to initiate change anger is not a bad emotion it is right because it is only through anger that change is initiated what you're not angry about you will never change don't tell me it is wisdom that initiates change it is anger you must be tired of something to initiate change so agitation is okay but it is out of order if it is not governed by divine wisdom so what we have been witnessing is a right agitation problem is that the wisdom that has been governing has ended up destroying things are you following me here so that's why when we pray and we still must pray because we are not out of this season when we pray now wisdom will begin to reign because it is that wisdom that will help the members of parliament not to make stupid decisions like the way they did how do you go ahead and make a comment it's as though you're fighting another politician then all of a sudden have to swallow your words and speak something new that is to tell you that most of what we have been operating with in kenya is earthly wisdom whether we are talking of the gen z whether you won't say amen i came, came with mine or whether we are talking of the politicians so what neutralizes us or brings us into the same power it is called the wisdom that is from above but this wisdom comes by intercession because you cannot discuss with an unreasonable person you can't there will be no good outcome i wish you were hearing me if i see you're a child what are you telling me and yet god might be using you to speak to me then i won't hear you and yet on the other side if i feel that this is our right since i already know i'm a blogger are you getting me and i know i'm live that's why i'm speaking like this then i say Aki, we are gen z we can then in the process i do not know another spirit sponsors my action motive may be right yes. motion is wrong yes. thank you god bless you in jesus name yeah. yeah and even in case you went outside to also walk around you are a suspect but please receive my word in the name of jesus christ yes. have i made sense right here so what does intercession do intercession consistently secures the highway yes. it allows things not to be perverted and that's what i want us to do right now is that okay I want us to create highways over our own personal life. Now, some of you need an increase of angelic help. Your battle is beyond you. If the angels don't increase, you will never come out. You will never come out. We did lunch hours, and one time, Bishop, I remember it was on a Monday. And let me tell you, I respect your Bishop because I see him preach three weeks consistently. Are you getting me what I'm trying to say? <laughs> it's not just discipline it's energy this standing here is not easy and so mondays particularly can be very depressing for us lunch our preachers we can tell you by saturday we don't want to see you we don't in fact we need a lot of strength on sunday so sometimes you may be angry he doesn't pick his call just leave him please i beg just leave him don't be angry because if he's not fresh you won't be helped the counseling you receive in the office is not as powerful as the word he preaches here every time he's here one word sorts out whatever counseling you need five hours can never be sorted out with what he says here so don't always be angry at him are you hearing me so we want to pray there must be multiplication of angels rise up on your feet and let's pray in the precious name of jesus you know, I discovered this clock of yours used to be like our clock. It is five minutes earlier. I said, the devil is a liar. <laughs> I fell that trap two days ago. I said, I, I said, no, 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 no. Because I've seen Bishop ex exceed a little bit. You know, I also have that disease. Are you understanding me? And I said, I have received this disease also. Amen. Yesterday, Bishop, I, just, I looked and I said, this is deception. There is a liar here. Amen. Whoever has done this will not go to heaven. Can we pray? <laughs> let's lift up a prayer lift your hands and just go ahead and say lord let highways be created over my life over my destiny over my nation in the name of jesus i command intrusions in the spirit to be broken right now anywhere they have legal ground to work against me to work against my territory to work against my family to work against my nation lord i repent and I ask you to remember mercy. I plead the blood of Jesus over the ground the wicked one has. And I reclaim that ground.
in the name of Jesus I now declare the Lord arise let the wicked one be scattered arise O God let the wicked one be scattered and let a highway be created on my behalf now open your mouth and first of all raise up that prayer before we begin to commission angels on your behalf open your mouth and raise up that prayer. open your mouth and raise up that prayer please if you value your life you will not pray quietly you will pray with aggression over your life over your destiny the will of God has to prevail over this land of Wasingishu, the will of God has to prevail. Over the churches in this land, the will of God has to prevail. Over our nation, the will of God has to prevail. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and raise a prayer. Lord, I want your will. May your kingdom come that your will may be done. In my life, over my destiny, over my resources, I pray today that God, the heavens over my head will be open. Come on, raise a prayer before we go to the second level. Raise a prayer, raise a prayer, raise a prayer. Shimbre de katana ma sombre de katia. Prendos que de mecaria ma bratoli ma shonda. Le prende le de candila ma somba. Come on, pray, pray today, pray today. Let the heavens be open, let the heavens be open. Let a highway be given to me. 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 Now I want you to take it to the second level. Open your mouth. Begin to command every manner of an angel assigned to you. Angels of war to begin to work on your behalf. They are ministering spirits assigned to the saints of God. Open your mouth and begin to command every angel. God will begin to release them now. Answers have already been given, but you need the angels of war to begin to fight and clear a highway for you. Lift your hands of war, open your mouth in prayer, and begin to chant in the Holy Ghost. Chant in the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't pray choir prayers. Don't pray prayers that are small. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, increase the angelic activity over my life. Let them work for me. Let them work for me. Shamina makara bo se mele de karia ma pratoniba. Le pratonima sombre de katana ma somba. Le pratonima shonde le de kandila ma sombre. La prande le de karia ma pratoniba shanda. Le kanama sombe le de karia. Le pro sombe le de kandila ma sombe. La pratonima sombe. Angels are ministering spirits. Let them minister strength to you. The Bible says they minister to Jesus and they strengthen him. If you're weak in this place, command your angels to strengthen you. Command your angels to minister to you. Command them to go ahead and do their bidding in the name of the Lord Jesus. Reteneme sombre de katalaba. Lembrando de bakashanima sombe. La candila de sombre. La caria ma pratoli ba somba. Le caria ma pratoli ba shandila. Le candele de sombre. La tinima tonima sombia. La caria ma pratoli ba sonda. Le canama shandalaba. Ay. There is a fresh fire of prayer here. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and now begin to give thanks by faith because of time. Go ahead and just begin to give thanks. Some of you are receiving new strength. New strength. You feel refreshed. It's been a journey, but God is renewing you. God is renewing you. 
God is renewing you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There are some of you, there will be confirmation through dreams and visions. Through fresh dreams and fresh visions. God is bringing them to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. We give you praise, we give you praise. Now lift your voice and shout back God with a clap and noise right here. Give God a proper shout. Would you involve everything around you? I want your hands, your mouth, and everything around you. And guess what? Make sure you are louder than your neighbor so that your atmosphere becomes greater than your neighbors. Let's lift our hands. Raise your voice. Let us shout. Let us shout. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. While you're standing, how many of you believe this is important? Let, let, let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. You are a spirit. Yes. You have a soul. Yes. You live in the body. Yes, yes. From the time you gave your life to Christ, you shifted to the spirit. Yes, yes. So all your transactions are spiritual. Yes. If you don't succeed in the spirit, you will struggle in the natural. We wage war in the spirit. We transact business in the spirit. We have an altar in the city that gives us an advantage in the marketplace. I want to recommend to you, make it compulsory, that you will always visit the altar that helps you transact business. Now, Pastor Pancras said something very important. And I know this week, this week we've had some interruptions. I think that word was divine. I, I don't know... But we need to bring Pastor Pancras back to, 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 to finish on that. Yes, I think I need to, uh, I, will, I will try and sweet talk him. Listen, God can release grace and people are not there to receive. I really believe, you know, the art of intercession needs to. Now, we have a spiritual principle in this house that we divide the year into two. Six months and then six months. He said something that I think is very paramount for you to understand. Daniel said, I understood by books that this ought to have happened by now. But we are not. I am sure there are things that ought to have happened in the last six months. But there is something somehow, somehow, that has interfered. That's the transition. That's what we are launching on Sunday afternoon. We call it Holy Ghost Afternoon. But we are commissioning you into the next quarter, second phase of the year. The second phase of the year. If I were you, I know some of us fellowship out there somewhere, somewhere. If you can, by 2.30, cross the river or come from wherever you're coming, let's meet at the tent. Let's take you through a process to the next dimension of the year so that you don't try to engage in the next part of the year with the strength of the previous so there is grace to transit and this word came timely for that that your seasons can be delayed but you can raise up an um you, you can raise a highway you can you can establish an highway you can actually establish a ladder and move to the next level and then he said something very paramount yesterday that while ministers are ministering here, they are pushing you into that level. They are declaring that atmosphere. So I want to recommend to you, we've been fasting from Monday. We climax our fasting on Sunday. After the Holy Ghost afternoon is when you will be free to, unless you want to continue with that. Have you realized when you begin praying, by the time you think you are done, then the grace to pray and fast begins to come. Don't cut it, let it flow. You won't die. You won't die. Only your problems will die you know and those things that are necessary so i want to recommend come on sunday afternoon use your social media the way we used it this week use it now to promote god Let, let's shift in the spirit let's shift in the spirit and then there's something i want us to do next week and um i wanted to say that offline 
Uh, those who are watching us live, we bless you. You can send your offerings right now. It's projected on your screen.